Coming up on the Dave DeBaugh Big Show, the NBA trade deadline turned out to be just a bunch of hype. The Golden State Warriors scored 50 points in the third quarter. And Charles Oakley clearly, clearly has a fatal attraction with the New York Knicks. Big Show, presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave DeBai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave DeBai. North America, welcome to the Dave DeBai Big Show. Today, we begin with Charles Oakley, who showed up at the Cleveland Cavs New York Knicks game in Cleveland last night. Oakley, who let's face it, was sending a clear and concise message to James Dolan that he will not go quietly into the night. Look, Oakley has officially made the leap from scorned former National Basketball Association player to New York Knicks stalker. (laughs) Just think about it for a second, James Dolan. Oakley could easily follow your team around from city to city, and taunt you remotely. Look, you need to give Charles exactly what he's looking for, which is a Charles Oakley bobblehead night at Madison Square Garden. Hey, James, a little piece of advice for you. Make things right with Mr. Oakley now before he goes all Glenn Close fatal attraction on you. And you walk into your kitchen, you see some boiling water, and in it, is a rabbit. (laughs) Okay, so moving on to the Golden State Warriors, who basically should have their own reality TV show. So you think you can score? (laughs) Last night, they scored 49 points in the first half of a game against the Clippers in Oakland. And then in the third quarter, they got mad. There were a couple technicals, and before they knew it, they had scored 50 points in the third quarter. Look, It was flat out embarrassing to watch how the Clippers played in the third and fourth quarter of last night's game. Absolutely embarrassing. Things were so bad that the Warriors themselves and the coaching staff, they didn't even know they scored 50 points. The uh, the Warriors were actually dancing on the court. They were shimmering and they were shaking and the Clippers didn't do a single thing about it. The Clippers caved last night like a teenager who walks up to a cheerleader to ask her out. But when he gets to the cheerleader, he simply just runs away and doesn't even have enough nerve to say hi. (laughs) That was the Clippers last night against the Warriors. Look, the Clippers needed to send a message to the Warriors when the dancing broke out. I'm not saying they needed to hurt anyone. But basically, the Clippers needed to walk back out under the court in the fourth quarter of that game last night and knock someone on their ass. Just think about it for a second. All the town hall meetings that are going on in North America, people are showing up at these meetings and yelling at their congressmen. I'm telling you right now, the Clippers could learn a lot from watching those people. All right, North America, next up on the big docket the National Basketball Association hype machine, which continues to deliver what we like to call false positives. Okay, just take, for example, this past weekend's All-Star game. A bunch of hype and a terrible game, just like the slam dunk contest, as well as the three-point contest this year. Hype, hype, hype. They're positives that turn into false realities. And that is exactly what the NBA hype machine is all about. This time, the National Basketball Association hype machine spit out a bunch of hype, a bunch of hype around this week's NBA trade deadline. And to be honest, nothing of any significance happened. There was the whole magic bird talk involving George going from one team to another, but nothing happened. Nothing at all happened. 
over the last four days. The only thing that was delivered during the National Basketball Association hype machine from the last four days was a bunch of crickets hanging out in a forest all by themselves, just chirping. <laughs> okay, North America, thank you so much for all of your support. The Dave DeBob Big Show is available all over the place. We are on Facebook, Twitter, the Sound of Cloud. We're on Spreaker. We are on iTunes as well. You can also find us on YouTube, and we are on a iHeartRadio app. For the Dave DeBob Big Show, I am Dave DeBob, reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, Ron Rivera. But everyone, and I do mean everyone, can act like one can. And good luck, North America. Because in this era of Donald Trump being your president, you're going to need it.